Good morning, folks. We've got a bit of space weather to watch. We've got a video recommendation from the fifth anniversary of Sky Scholar, and we have a new study out of South America that will shock absolutely no veteran observer at all. Let's start with our star, and we find the last 24 hours with continued C-class flare activity and some minor eruptive motions and a filament collapse as well. These are fairly minor events and somewhat confined to the coronal area around those active regions and collapsed filament. The solar wind is still slightly elevated due to the coronal hole stream, and Earth continues to endure enhanced geomagnetic conditions, although somewhat sustained with peaks at KP4, mild activity at best. SOHO doesn't show any Earth-directed components to the eruptive events. We do have some CMEs heading mostly away from the Earth, but we'll keep an eye open for more of that activity today. Folks, it was the fifth anniversary of Sky Scholar, and it was a fantastic video that came out on why the corona is likely not millions of degrees, as many scientists say. Excellent bit on the chemoluminescent potential of the solar atmosphere. Highly recommended and linked for you below today. Lastly, folks, Hope you caught last night's video and especially the part about isotope dating and how it's an imprecise science at best. Same goes when you use spores as they did here, but they noted two distinct waves of major extinction, one around 23,000 years ago and another around 11,000 years ago. Pretty darn close actually to that 12,000 year cycle where the last two major events were 12 and 24,000 years before present. And of course, don't forget, next round on deck. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about all of this and check out our resources at the links in the description box below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.